Oh, welcome back, everybody. So all week long, we have been testing these as seen on TV products to see if they actually live up to the claims. Yes, and it is finally here today. Our consumer investigator Hank Winchester tested out something I'm very excited about the Ninja coffee bar to see if you can really get a coffee house coffee drink in the comfort of your own home. Coffee brewed by the pros, well, it certainly tastes good, but it can cost you a pretty penny. What if you could recreate that experience in the comfort of your own home? Well, this product claims it can do just that, but does it work? The Ninja Coffee Bar System, a cup of coffee, with pod free, enables you to use your favorite coffee grounds, a latte, and everything in between. Cappuccinos, the Ninja Coffee Bar promises to do it all and even advertises as being better than a coffee house experience at home. Looks like it has stage presence for your home counter. We took it to baristas here at Urban Coffee Bean in Detroit to put this product to the test. Rich brew. Let's, yeah, who doesn't want to be rich? Sure, sounds good. It's going to try to extract as you go down through these buttons, classic, rich, over ice brew, uh, down to the end, Cafe Forte is going to be a particularly strong. Yeah, so it's going to concentrate the flavors. Tell me what you think of that coffee. That's pretty solid. Really? You think yeah. so? It doesn't do a terrible job of extracting the flavor. Okay. But there's a hitch in the brewing. You can't adjust the heat. The instruction manual says that if you want your coffee hotter, just heat up your mug. A feature we did like, the drip stop. You can pour a cup while it's still brewing, and it also prevents dripping after you're done, keeping your counter nice and clean. That's actually a pretty useful feature. I've never seen that before. Though. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good, good idea. We yeah. like that. That's a great feature. Next, we tried to make a latte using the frother. So frankly, this is taking forever. <laughs> the tool on the machine doesn't actually heat the milk while it's frothing. Basically just whisks milk, but it doesn't heat it. That's, so that's cold. We found this machine really isn't going to help you whip up that specialty drink you may be craving. It's not what you're gonna get from your local barista or no. from a coffee house. To be espresso, uh, it has to be made through the pressure of an espresso machine. So for the price of $180, can we give it the stamp of approval? Well, we have mixed feelings. For a regular cup of coffee, the Ninja Bar worked just fine. But if you're looking for that coffee house specialty drink, not so much. I would go out for espresso-based drinks because the cost of an espresso machine, even on the lower end, is several hundred dollars. Okay. And it's hard to make the consistency that you find in a typical shop that has a very uh, well-built machine for that purpose. And if you want more information about this product, we have everything you need to know. You'll find it all on the Help Me Hank page right at clickondetroit.com. I'm Hank Winchester. Back to you. Hmm. Okay, so a mixed, mixed reaction. Yeah. I mean... There's something to be said about, <laughs> bless you. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't stop it when it comes. <laughs> just right there in the middle of the segment. My apology. <laughs> well, there's something to be said. Sleep, you did, you snabbed, you sneezed dab. <laughs> there, there's something to be said about going to a coffee shop and getting that experience yes. and the smell and, and all that stuff to go along with it. And so it sounds like you might still want to do that if you really want to yeah. have not just the experience, but that. Absolutely. That type of coffee, specialty coffee. So come